Hey guys, I'm Natai. Welcome back to day seven of the Christmas Countdown Zoo. You can see some penguin feet in the water there. Let's just hop out of here. And we'll get on to the seventh exhibit. Look at those muskox. All right, guests are thirsty. Yeah, that's one thing I haven't added is water or drink stands. Let's just do that really quickly. We have a drink stand over here. And over here, maybe guests will come to that. I don't know. That's something I'll sort out later. But for now, we have day seven, which is this little aviary here. So let's check this out. I think if I do that, okay, we can open up the top here. I don't know. No, I can't have that path and that gone. So what have we got in here? Let's check it out. We have a ptarmigan and we have a snowy owl. So let's check the zookeeper recommendations for both of these guys. They, I don't know about rocks. Let's have some small rocks maybe, but it is an aviary. So we are going to want to watch the height of the trees we put in here because if we have it too high, then it's not gonna look good. Okay, and I think what I'm going to opt for, let's have a rock right in the middle to just, you know, kind of make it look interesting. Um, animal enrichment, not much here for the snowy owl. What about the Tarmian? We could have a lookout post. Um, let's do that, actually. Right there. And... What about shelters? We have a willow thicket. I think the texture on that's broken. We can have a bamboo bar shelter for the snowy owl. Let's do that as well. Alright, so we have some stuff for them to perch on and whatnot. Um, no candy canes in this. Let's... We have to pick out some trees from this little selection thing. Let's bring the... Uh, roof back on here. So what trees will fit inside? And they have to be like pine trees as well. Two criteria we need to meet with this exhibit. Alright, so this is harder than I thought. We can have some mountain pine. They are always helpful when you want a small tree. That might be all we add though, because mm, maybe some holly, although we have holly on the outside. It's a fairly um, small exhibit, and unlike in real life, the birds will not be able to fly everywhere. So that's pretty unfortunate. All right, so that works out for me. Let's just rotate this as well as that, like, that I like it like that a little better okay so let's have some ground cover I think some more green than the muskox exhibit would be nice so we can use these lingonberries and maybe the snowy grass off in the corners at least because we don't want to hide the birds all right, I think if we just head in to training, we can just do some rock. I think I'm gonna keep the floor all rock. That way, the green really pops out and the birds won't be able to hide against any white. So we have the snowy owl, we have the rock tarmian. Let's remove the ones. European badger is really thirsty. That's sad. Oh, look at him. He's already perched right up there. Let's have another charm again. Because you are already pretty sad. Okay, so if we just add maybe a female. And that one has some nice coloration as well. So the rock charm again and the snowy owl. Friends for life, probably. Hopefully that doesn't go well, or goes well, not, okay. Let's say that again, hopefully that goes well. 
clean up those feathers. Look at them. They look really happy. They're all following the snowy owl. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Let's get down once again. Look at the color on that one. Anyways, that's been it for this episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, which is episode 8, where we will... Let's go take a look. It will be this exhibit right here. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I've been Nitai. Bye-bye. <laughs>